These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Mind if I warm my bones? Y'all knew this was Murphy Hills. You should be careful where you're campaigning. I can look after myself. Besides, it's free country. Free country? <laughs> no. Everything bought and paid for. <laughs> and we gonna protect what's ours. Y'all be careful where you wander. Come on, let's go. I think you got the message. Go kill you next time. Mm -hmm. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I bet you weren't expecting that opening. Now, the Murphy, they're jerks. I learned that in the first playthrough. In the second playthrough, I vowed to shoot any and every one of them I've ever bumped into. In this case, they visit you at camp and... I had a chance to have Arthur kill them off. Now, this is a repeat of um, Emmett Granger. He's one of the foremen and a uh, good woman or whatever. When Arthur is out trying to interview these gunslingers from old. Well, I redid Emmett Granger's mission or the mission for Emmett Granger because I realized it's different. I mean, you play a little differently when you start Red Dead Redemption 2 and it adds a little depth. Let's get on with Emmett Granger and see how things work out and see what I did differently. Look at this. Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be is correct. Them days are long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> Shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I'm knee-deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? You shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. All right. Shovel your damn shit. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. A scalp song. Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know 
what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Bury folks alive. One time, I... I get it, all right? You're me. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girly. If I was a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. You get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Ugh. Hell, Ugh. that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Calloway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You making a book? You should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time. You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? <laughs> well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book. Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man a piece, no government witness. <laughs> Galloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girly. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! Go. No. 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 You didn't know. Oh, God. You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killer. And I'm going to enjoy it now. Draw. It's going to be the last thing you do. Like Flacco Hernandez, you have to kill Emmett Granger. And again, if you pick up his gun, don't worry about dropping your one weapon for his weapon. You got to collect the weapons. And yeah, don't worry about it. Not a big deal. Take the photo, and then I'm going to search his cabin. Had a little issue with the weapons there. Sorry about that. Now I'm going to search his cabin and take whatever I can take. He doesn't have much. This is just a very basic cabin. Very little in there to find. I didn't jump on the horse to ride out. I'm going to flip weapons back to the sawed-off shotgun. And now I'm going to get the bow with some improved arrows. Ah, the poison arrow. Yep. And this is why. I'm going to practice some animal cruelty. Because there are three hogs that are three stars. 
and you do need pig skins for one of the trapper outfits. Now I'm just going to go on and harvest the other two pigs and show you the other thing I do. Other pigs harvested. Now to go on to the chickens. Where are the chickens? Here, chick, 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 chick. I can't go into the hen house. Here, chick, 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 chick. Ah, there we go. We have a rooster and some chickens, and we can get some rooster and chicken feathers because you need those for some trapper garment sets. And, yeah, studied rooster, and, yep, boom, done. Up, oh, chickens run away. That's fine. I can go after them. With the rooster and chickens harvested, another douchebag thing to do is take his horse. He's not going to use it. He's dead. And rather than let it starve to death or end up um, being, shall I say, compromised, let's make a little money off of this and let's steal Emmett Granger's horse. Yeah, doesn't back out well. I found out how to back out horses, but forgot. Now, it's time to take the horse in and make a little money. Okay, I'm going to clean out the satchel, drink some things I don't need to drink, and let's get this horse on the road so I can bond with it and be its buddy and be able to sell it. And I believe Valentine is the closest place so we're going to ride to Valentine and sell the horse. Yep, I played this way different and played a little bit of a douchebag, but that's okay. Uh, those animals were going to die of starvation. I was a good citizen and took care of them. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video interesting and informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, as well as some specials and some shorts and you don't want to miss out. That is the best way to stay in, be staying informed is to hit the subscribe button and bell icon. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by. Let's talk about this! Arthur! Arthur! Come lend a hand here! I got thick. Go ahead and call your mama for all I care. Uh, take it easy, I got my bagel. <laughs> Should have thought about that earlier. You pathetic old man. You could have stepped in. I thought you had it covered. Just wait till you're old. I'll be at camp if you need me.